Hello my loves and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah and I am your host and I am so so excited to be here with you guys today because today we're going to be talking about letting go. Now I know that this is generally speaking a podcast for soul-led entrepreneurs. I try and um, do a lot of business content and also a lot of healing content but sometimes I think that we need to talk about what needs to be let go of to become that next highest version of yourself and that letting go process can feel incredibly overwhelming or emotional or hard and it's something that needs to really be spoken into because sometimes to build the business that you want to build or create the life that you want to create you need to let go of everything you thought you were going to do or be or have and become a new version of self. You need to let go of all of the preconceived ideas, thoughts, feelings, and judgments as you go to that next level of your own evolution in your life and business. So I really wanted to talk about this today because I feel like this is such an important topic and one that is very, very close to my heart. So let's jump in. Personal share. I came over to Europe last year, as you guys may know, uh, and I moved to a couple of different places. I was in Greece for three months, then I came to a place called Montenegro. And while I was in Montenegro, I met someone and literally had the most phenomenal whirlwind fairy tale romance of my entire life. Now I'm actually older than I look guys, I'm 40 and I've been in abusive relationships. Uh, we had COVID kick in. And so it's just worked out for me in my life that I've never actually met anybody that I actually wanted to start a family with and have a family with. So I met this man overseas last year and for the first time ever, I said to my best friend, I, I want to have children like I want to have children with this man I want to spend my life with this man I like if I had tried to design someone that I thought would be perfect for me I wouldn't have been able to make him this perfect because to me everything just felt like it was so much in alignment and it almost felt like well it did feel like the universe led us to each other you know there were so many things that had to happen for him and I to actually meet and I felt like I was led to Montenegro and I was led to the circumstances that I met him. And I was like, this is my person, you know, it's taken me my whole life to get here, but I've met my person. And so we obviously had a relationship and I came back to Australia at the start of the year this year and I cleaned up all of my life and I sold all of my things and literally a couple of days before I was due to get back on the plane and move to this man in Montenegro, he messaged me telling me that he had met someone else. And that wasn't a phone call. There was no conversation about it. It was literally days before I was due to get on a flight and I just, I hadn't seen it coming. And I got on the plane anyway. Like I genuinely didn't believe that he would have done this to me, you know, like I was due to get on this plane and literally move to him, which we had talked about since last year. You know, we had made this plan if, like back in November for me to move. We'd had a whole conversation about it and then we'd been working towards it. He'd known the whole way along where all my plans were at, when I was booking my flights, all of this sort of stuff. We were still in communication. We were still doing all of the things, you know, talking on the phone, sending the cute messages and photos and still engaging with each other. And then straight out of nowhere, he's like, I'm seeing someone. And honestly, I just, my best friend was like, do you even think this girl is real? Like he may, it just sounds like he's freaking out. She's come out of nowhere. Like how would he have magically met someone a couple of days before you're due to get on a plane? And so I came anyway, partly because I just thought if we communicate, we'll work it all out because this had literally come from nowhere for me. And I had moved my whole life thinking that like, this is where I could see my future. This is where I could see my grandchildren. And so I got on a plane and as we speak right now, I've been here about two and a half months and I am literally able to see his house from my window. We are walking distance to each other. We are 
less than two kilometers from each other in this very small town uh, in Montenegro. And I love this town. One of the reasons why uh, I stayed is because I have a solid support system here. I've got some really, really great friends here. But he and I, we haven't met for coffee. We haven't had any conversations. Obviously, he does have a partner and I am very respectful of that sort of thing. I don't want to get in the way of them, even though technically <laughs> he cheated on me to be with her. But that is not the point of what I'm saying. What I'm getting at here is when that relationship ended, not only am I grieving the loss of someone I thought would be in my life for the rest of my life, like even now, and, and we're two and a half months in to me literally being single, and I still miss having conversations with him. I still miss being able to text message him. So not only do I miss the person, I literally thought my future was here. So I literally was visualizing having children here and a life here, and I'm not from this country. So it's literally that whole future that I saw and that that I was working towards and that I put so much effort and energy and time and love into like I literally was like so excited to come back that's gone and at, and at the age that I'm at as I mentioned earlier guys I'm 40 and I've never met anyone that I wanted to have children with and so for me it's been a real letting go of having to let go of the idea that I'm not going to have children with that person and I potentially may never have children. You know, it's a letting go of the idea of having grandchildren in this country and living in this country and living this life. And so what I'm kind of getting at is sometimes when something happens, it's not it's not the act of what has happened that you're grieving. It's the loss of the story that your brain told. So for example, like I can understand with a lot of people when they have children and then they get divorced, they're also grieving the loss of that future they saw with that partner with those children. Or if someone dies, you're grieving the loss of that future that you still saw with them. Or if your pet dies, you're grieving the loss of the connection that you had with that pet still in the future you didn't you weren't ready for it you, you haven't let go of everything sometimes and the the hardest thing about the letting go is is actually going through the act of letting go of all of the pieces letting go of the hurt letting go of the grief letting go of whatever the thing that actually is gone is and then also the letting go of the future that was around that that thing that that is now gone and i can honestly say it's been one of the hardest things that i've ever been through in the way that it's wrapped up with where i live it's wrapped up with my ability to have children and, and who i'm gonna have children with and also it's wrapped up in the fact that i actually genuinely wanted to spend the rest of my life with this human and so it's one of those things where it's not as simple as just going that person is gone now get over it or that pet has passed away get over it or you missed out on that you lost your job just get over it that it's the letting go of all of the the strings or energetic cords that we have attached to that thing that we that we wanted so badly and that, that we really, really wanted and that we really desired and having that trust for the future and what's going to come next. And I think for me in particular, because I don't know where I'm going to live, you know, I, I literally sold all of my things and left Australia. I don't know if I'm going to stay in Montenegro. I don't know if I'm going to move back to Australia. I don't know if I'm going to move to another country. I genuinely have no idea. So it's having that trust in yourself that you're going to be okay and that everything's going to work out for you. I can't even tell you how much I've cried and I feel so truly blessed that I'm in a position where I've actually been able to let myself feel everything I'm going through. I've literally been able to sit with the loneliness with the hurt with the fear of never having children and what that means or 
you know, with the fear of not knowing what my next step is or where I'm going to be in three months. And I've really allowed myself to feel that. And I do think that that has helped. And a lot of people said to me, are you like, how do you feel about the fact that you came to Montenegro? And I very much feel like it helped me heal because if I had have stayed in Australia, I wouldn't have processed those feelings. It wouldn't have been in my face. I would have distracted myself. I would have run away from the feelings. I would have made myself busy. And I think that when it comes to, to learning to let go, part of the letting go process is really accepting what's going on and feeling it. You know, my brain was accepting that, it, that this was happening, but it wasn't really until I was really deeply feeling it and letting it out that I've started to have the most growth. And it's been hard because in my life, you know, I've never had to, I've never had the opportunity to really feel everything as, as, it, as it's going along. You know, if I was in Australia, it might've taken me 12 months to move forward and let this go. So I wanted to talk to you guys about letting go, because I think it's so important to acknowledge where you're at and what is attached that you're actually letting go of as i said for me i'm attached to the idea of where my future was going to be the idea of having children the actual human themselves there's so many things that are a part of what we're letting go at and sometimes we can minimize our feelings and minimize our experiences by saying oh well you know we shouldn't care that much or oh well you know everything will be fine you'll just get a new boyfriend or you know or same with the job thing or a business thing if a business thing doesn't work out and we that was our baby you know i i read a lot of groups posts at the moment where people are considering closing down their their business and that brings up so many feelings of the future you had with that business the effort you've put in so far with that business the life you saw that you would have with that business and then also the attachment to the business itself. If you choose to let that go, there's so many strings there, the freedom that that business was going to give you, or, you know, the creativity that it allowed or the time with your children that it allowed. There are so many pieces to letting go. And you've really got to think of it like an onion. Letting go is like an onion. There's going to be another layer and another layer until you get through it. And I feel that a lot of the times, we don't allow ourselves to go deep with it in general. <laughs> I'm going to say in general here, guys. Uh, I know for me, like I said, if I hadn't have been right here, smack bang, able to see his house, it, this would have taken me over a year, you know? So being here and really confronting everything and facing those feelings has really helped me to accept everything. It's helped me to see all the strings and it's helped me to let go of everything that I need to let go of. And I want to tell you guys and, and let you know that it's okay. It's okay if something happens, if you don't get the job you want, if you have to close your business, if you break up with your husband and now you have to raise the kids on your own, if someone dies, it's okay for that to take as long as it takes for you to let go. It's totally okay. You don't have to work on anyone else's timeline. You don't have to just wake up and be okay at 30 days or 31 days because you've spent a month on it and now you're going to be okay. You don't have to do that. I will say that you don't want to get stuck in the negative feelings. I know for me, I'm very much trying to work through and process everything that comes up because it is like an onion. So I'm trying not to get stuck on a layer. I'm trying to work through it and I'm trying to feel it and accept it. I'm, I'm actively wanting to move forward from this situation. So there is an element of personal responsibility and making sure that you don't get stuck in some of those harder feelings that come up earlier on because you can get very stuck in it. Now, some of the things that have helped me out, guys, and that have made it so that I can keep functioning and keep working and keep living and you know, all of those things is having a solid support system. Firstly, it's one of the reasons as mentioned why I'm here is because I do have a very solid support system. And that's why I haven't gone to any other countries in Europe, because here I have such a strong community of people around me supporting me. Another thing that I've done so much of is journaling, inner child work and EFT. 
Now you guys know that I talk about these things all the time because they are so useful. So the journaling helps me to get everything out of my system. And it also helps me to see where I'm at. Sometimes I'm not aware of what I'm thinking until I read it back and I go, oh, is that what I think about that? Okay, cool. Or it helps me to see my growth, you know, where, you know, you might start writing a letter to whatever the situation is. Hey, I'm, I'm so angry that you left me or, hey, I'm so angry that you guys fired me or, hey, I'm so angry that X, Y, Z and you start to work through what's going on in that letter and in that journaling experience. And so that's been instrumentally helpful. And I know for me, all of my letters always end in thank yous and gratitude. I always get all of the things out that I'm feeling. And then I look at it from a compassionate angle and I feel so much compassion for the, for the other people or whatever's involved in the situation. And I feel so much gratitude and love and warmth for those for that situation because I've written a lot of these letters. I write them all the time whenever something um, kind of happens that throws me off a bit. I always write these sort of letters and they've been so instrumental for me. Also EFT, which I've mentioned to you guys before, you can check out some of the other videos, I'll link some below, has been instrumental as well because it helps you to tap everything out of your system, but also out of your energy field. And it helps you to put in new vibrations and new beliefs and new stories because sometimes you do get stuck on the story. You do get stuck on what you created in your head as your future. And so doing the EFT tapping, it helps you to rewrite the story and it helps you to create a new story for yourself. Another thing, guys, as mentioned, is meditation because that's what helps me to feel really grounded. You know, going through all of this and being in a different country where I don't know the language and the person I came here for isn't here, You're not for me. It, it's the meditation helps me to feel grounded in a world that feels like it can be overwhelming and it's moving at a very fast rate and things are changing all the time. And so doing that daily practice every day of making sure that I'm meditating is just helping me so, 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 so much in becoming clearer and stronger in myself because that is another thing with letting go is becoming stronger in yourself so that you can let go and also practicing self-love and knowing that it's okay like as i said not feeling guilty or ashamed of the fact that you're still crying or you're still upset or you haven't moved on yet, you know, allowing yourself to be in that process and having that self love for yourself that you know that everything is going to be okay, that you know that you're going to be fine in the end and allowing yourself to just take the time you need and love yourself. If you feel you need to go for a walk, go for a walk. If you feel you need to eat something healthy or have a bath or talk to a friend, like practice the self love of what you know you need for yourself to feel better because letting go is hard. Like letting go is one of the hardest things. It's just such an experience of deep trust and surrender that what is meant for you will become for you, you know? And I think that you've got to honor the journey that you've been on and that you're going on and know that sometimes things aren't going to go the way they're supposed to go, but you can have trust that everything is always working out for you and trust that there's something better on the other side of the pain and the hurt that you're feeling in that moment and in those moments that you're learning to let go. And so sometimes we have to let go of those images of the future that we saw because those images aren't in alignment with our truest and highest soul's purpose. So you might have this idea of where you want to go in your life, but there's people around you that you know are not the people who will be at that next level. So say, for example, you're a business owner and you're currently on 20K months and you want to get to 200K months. The version of you at 20K months is going to be completely different to the version of you at 200K months, which means the actions that you take are going to be different. The people you surround yourself with are going to be different. The vibration and the energy that you're coming at life with is going to be different. 
what you do to move yourself forward is going to be different. And so sometimes you've just got to trust that the universe is moving everything out of the way so that you can get to that next level. Maybe this current business that you're thinking about closing, maybe the reason that isn't working is because you're supposed to be opening another business that's going to get to five million dollars. You know, maybe that's not where your highest purpose is and you need to let that one go and learn all the lessons and feel all the feels and then start the next one in higher alignment with your highest purpose. And so it's one of those things where you where you want to look at it and kind of go, it's OK. It's OK that I'm letting this go and it's OK that I'm not OK right now. It's OK that I need to let go of the version of me that I was because I want to step into something new. I want to step into something bigger. I want to step into something brighter. And some of the things in my life, they're not working and they need to change. Now, from an energy point of view with me, this guy could have broken up with me many times, many, many times in the seven months between us deciding I would come here and me actually getting here. And he chose a few days before I got on a plane to actually tell me that he's seeing someone else. And so I have to trust that the reason that played out like that is because the universe wanted me to be in Europe. The universe wanted me to be over here. It didn't want me to be in Australia. It, I wouldn't have learned the lessons that I needed to learn by being in Australia. I wouldn't have healed. It wouldn't have kicked me in the butt so much, so to speak. So for me, I very much have to trust that the way that all of this has happened and all of the hurt and all of the sadness and all of the pain that's there because of the new version of myself that I want to be, you know, that's there because of the next levels that I want to take in my life. I really want a family now. I really want a family and I really want children. And before this, I'd kind of given up, not so much given up, but I'd kind of become resigned to whether or not that was going to happen or not. And now I'm very much like, no, that's definitely what I want. And I think that sometimes the universe will give you something so that you can kind of see what you actually really want and and it might not have been exactly the right thing you know we've all heard of the one before the one in terms of relationships is sometimes the universe will give you a little bit of what you want so that you can so that it can show you and there is a, a very much a theory in the 12 laws of the universe that has to do with contraction and expansion, you know, and I very much believe that last year was an expansion for me for the sort of relationship I want, the sort of partner I wanted to be with, but that wasn't my exact person and that wasn't my ideal situation for my highest good. So then there was a little bit of a contraction and then I'm going to have a huge expansion out the other side. And that's the way that I choose to look at things, especially when it comes to business things. I'm using the example of my relationship um, because this is what's relevant to me, but in a business sense, it's like can be like you've had the expansion of having a business and then you've decided to change or get a different business or sell that business or you've got to let that go for some reason. And so you've got that contraction and then you've got that next expansion to your next level. So understanding that letting go as painful as it is, is sometimes what's necessary to move you forward is such a beautiful way to really think about and honor what has come before. And I know that I wouldn't be the person that I am without that situation, without the last 10 months. I wouldn't be the person that I am without that. I wouldn't have the clarity that I that I have without that. I wouldn't even be in Europe probably right now without that. And so I have so much gratitude and I'm so thankful for this experience. And I think that when it comes to letting go, we really do need to just understand that even though it sucks and it's painful and it's hard to just go through it, like don't try and climb over it, don't try and climb under it, don't try and go around it, just try and really accept it and go through it. Go through it because the next version of you that's going to come out the other side is going to be like a slingshot, you know? It's going to be like this beautiful, more evolved, more expanded version of who you really truly are and who you're meant to be. So keep going, keep feeling, keep actively just trying to let go and and move forward, but honor where you're at at the same time, like honor where you're at and know that 
whether you're going through something personally or whether you're going through something in business, there's going to be something bigger and brighter for you on the other side. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today, guys. I know it's a bit different from the other ones. If you know anyone that you think will benefit from hearing a bit more about letting go and how you can let go some of the processes I use, please feel free to share them. Please feel free to let me know what you thought of this video, leave a comment, send me a message. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.